Hi everyone, I'm Shai from the Contentful Developer Relations team. I'm really excited to be here today to talk to you about some of my favorite changes that came to Contentful in the month of January. So to kick things off, let me tell you where you can keep up with all of the changes that we make every month. You can just head over to contentful.com slash developers slash changelog. And let me pull that up on screen for us here. So this is where we post all of our changes, all of our new features. If there's anything breaking that we do, you'll be able to keep an eye on it here. And you can subscribe to this via RSS or just, you know, come check the page every so often as well, whatever's more convenient. So let's dive into my top three favorite changes from the month of January. So first off is we made a quick visual refresh to the Contentful web app. So we've made a, a facelift to make it uh, a little neater, to make it more consistent, to kind of reduce the noise. I, I really like how things have gotten a little tighter feeling. I'm a big fan of that. And most importantly, for those of you that are writing apps or building extensions, extensions, we've updated the former 36 design library to match these changes as well. There's an announcement that you can get to from the change log that can help walk you through updating uh, and making those changes to make your apps and your extensions more consistent and in line with the Contentful web app. So that's change number one. Change number two is we've added support for entire phrase search using double quotes. So let me go ahead and actually show you this really quickly. I feel like my favorite way to, to explain how this works and how this is useful is actually to dive in. So I have a content model here and it's got a list of blog posts and all of these blog posts have titles. I went ahead and made this by just pulling 90 blog posts out of the Contentful main blog. So if you go to contentful.com slash blog, these are the last 90 posts in the developer category. And so we can go ahead and we can do a quick search on the title field. And I'm going to switch it to the match operator, which is one of these search operators. And I'm going to type in Contentful and and I'm gonna hit enter, and we can see that we get a bunch of things back. We get 14 entries back, and it isn't quite as precise as I'm looking for. So we've got, you know, building a better podcast with Contentful and Sinatra. That's great, it's a Contentful and. But the second post is how to create an SEO blog using Nux.js and Contentful. So it's not a exact match. And so all I have to do now, if I wanna find the blog posts that are Contentful and a thing rather than and Contentful is just encapsulate this in double quotes uh, and hit enter. And there we go. We get scoped down to three blog posts, which is great. And it's not just the Contentful web app that we can do this. Uh, the documentation has been updated on the Contentful API reference uh, for full text search and how that works. And we can click into it to take a look. And since I'm a Python developer, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick look at the Python examples and I can pull them over and I can maybe do the same thing. So let's take a look at this uh, code sample for doing it on a field. So I'm gonna need to specify my content type, which is a blog post, and I'm gonna need to specify by my field, which is gonna be the title. So let me go ahead and pull that up and pull up my terminal. So here I'm just doing the standard kind of Python setup. I'm hitting uh, dot and V to get my environment variables. I'm using it to set my space ID, my content delivery token. I'm instantiating the Contentful client. And here we go down here, I've got my client entries and I'm gonna do a search for Contentful and, and then I'm just gonna print out the titles. So let's go ahead and do a Python app.py. And we can see that we've got quite a few blog posts. And again, uh, we've got this Nux.js and we've got Contentful, a comma, and then an and. We've got GraphQL and I don't want any of these. I wanna be precise uh, and I can go ahead and just toss in some double quotes in my search field as well. I can save my file. And now when I run, run this, I get exactly three, which is great. We've got full phrase search and you can learn more about that by taking a look at the documentation on the API reference as well. Now, last thing I got is we've added two new things to our GraphQL API. So we've added an existence query for rich text and a search term filter query. So it contains for the rich text field as well. Let me go ahead and show off one of my old projects. Here we have a list of speakers. I ran a conference a couple years ago in, in 2019. We had a bunch of really excellent speakers. And if we click into one of them, we can see that there's a rich text blog, which kind of explains what their talk is. 
So if I pull up graphical, I have a, a pre-written query here, which is a speaker collection. I'm printing out their name and I'm printing out their talk description, which is really exciting. So here we have a list of all of my speakers, which is pretty great. But now let's say I want to look up and maybe do a query on speakers that talked about learning. So I can do that now. I can do a where and then the talk description contains, let's say, the word learn and hit hit go and there we go we can see that we've got a few talks that talk about learning uh, and we're not getting the full set again so we've got search functions on the rich text field i'll be back in february with my favorite or i'll be back in march with my favorite changes from february and if uh, you don't want to wait for that video you can check it out at contentful.com slash developers slash changelog and as always head over to the contentful developer portal to keep up with all of the latest goings on in in terms of developer content if you're looking to get started with Contentful, maybe learn a new thing, keep an eye on features, or even just tune into one of our live streams. The Contentful Developer Portal is the place to go to get started and to check out all of that awesome information. That's it for me. I'll be back next month with the new latest about what's going on in the Contentful Changelog. And until then, everyone stay safe, stay warm, and have a great February.